What's going on guys? Welcome back to another MLB season preview. Today, we're gonna take a deeper dive into the Miami Marlins. Last year, the Marlins finished fourth in the NL East going 69 and 93. Um, they had a pretty quiet off season to start until, you know, around January, February, and started to pick up a little bit. Um, some key additions that they got, uh, they got Matt Barnes, Luis Arise, Johnny Cueto, and uh, Gene Segura, which Arise and Segura are some pretty solid bats to get right there for them. Uh, but some key losses, they lost Pablo Lopez, Brian Anderson, Richard Belair, I believe you say it, JJ Blade, and then uh, Miggy, Miguel Rojas went to the Dodgers. Um, so they lost some some pretty big pieces. Remember, they still got the NL Cy Young, Sandy Alcantara. So I feel like they made a pretty they had a pretty solid offseason. Yeah. So a potential breakout player for this Marlins team is Jesus Sanchez. Uh, 24 years old, still very young. He's been in the majors for a couple of years now, and he's he's been he's been solid. But I think this is really the year that we're gonna see him really break out and have a uh, really good year and just some x factors for this team we i have three of them first uh when you're talking about the ball he's got to talk about jazz chisholm he's really the face like of the, this team when you think of the marlins uh he's gonna be one of the better players and if they want to be good he's gonna have to really stay keeping going good second player sandy alcantara reigning nl cy young He's just an absolute stud, and if he continues to do what he did last year with the additions this team made, this team really could, you know, maybe make some noise. And uh, I'm gonna go with another pitcher, Jesus Lazardo. Sandy's kind of a given that he's gonna be good if Lazardo can have another good season and really be that number two. This could actually be a really good like rotation. And going with the potential MVP, any of those guys could be the team MVP. But I'm going to go with the new addition, the reigning AL batting title leader, Luis Arise. I think that was a very good pickup by them. I think he's going to give a boost to this offense. And like I keep saying, this team really has some potential. The key to this Marlins team will be, can they put up runs? They're a literal pitching factory with Alcantara, Lazardo, Edward Cabrera, Trevor Rogers. They have Yuri Perez and Max Meyer close to the majors. They're a pitching factory. They produce great pitchers, but they just can't seem to produce bats. And if their offense could put up some runs, then this team could possibly sneak into the playoffs. But I Ultimately, I just don't know if they'll be able to. So I have them finishing around 80 to 84 wins this year. For me, I think the Marlins have a ton of potential, but I will say the NL East is going to be very tough this year. I think they'll be the fourth place team going anywhere between 74 to 78 wins. I think they could hit 80s into the 80s. I just don't think they're a playoff team right now, even with the talent that they have. Like Fred said, can they produce runs? We'll see, they made a lot of additions, so who knows? With the new schedule and um, teams playing the other teams in the division only 10 times this year, I think they're gonna benefit from that, to be honest, playing different teams. So I have them, with the talent they have, I have them finishing anywhere from 75 to 80 wins. Um, I could see it going as low as 70, like if just injuries hurt them, if Jazz doesn't stay healthy like he didn't last year. All in all, they're, they're, they're a good enough roster to at least compete for 75 to 80 wins. Thank you guys for watching this one, and we will see you in the next one when we take a deeper dive into the Los Angeles Angels.